received from our mothers and those who have served and nurtured us as mother figures in many ways, nourishing us and guiding us as we go to be who we are. Bless them, Lord, and comfort them. Help their loving hearts to continue to love and give of themselves to others. Strengthen them when they are down and give them hope when they are discouraged. Most of all, Lord, on this Mother's Day, give our mothers the graces they most need and desire today. We ask this to Christ Jesus. Amen. The birth of Jesus is announced. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee, Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in a marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The, <coughs> the angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message and wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord, will, the Lord God will make him a king, and his ancestor David was, and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His king will never end. Mary said to him, <coughs> Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin, how then can this be? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth? It is said that she could not have children, but she herself is now six months pregnant, and even though she is very old. But the for there is nothing that God cannot do. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May this happen to me, as you have said. And the angel left her. Thank you. 
My Aussie mum is glamorous. She's always looking ace, even in her chucky ducks and lounging around the place. My Aussie mum plays netball. He thinks the game is good. It's just a thing that no one else gets a chance to see. My Aussie mom is a chauffeur. She drives us kids to school. She doesn't mind the traffic and always keeps her cool. My Aussie mom is a driver. She's busy day and night. She cooks and cleans and does the work and always makes things right. My Aussie mom is fighting with, she's a super one. Mostly so, she squeezes into her, her body from last summer. My Aussie mom is a cricket fan. She bears without shame. It's actually when it's her kids who are playing in the game. I am Tina, and I am Coop. We can talk to and Mickey's. But yes, we were for right I know when kids are talking sneaky. My Aussie mom is Happy buying lollies for a week, but when she gets them home, does she have any shoes to 
or share the shape or size she is. And I see my arms too blue. All I can say is I'm so glad. My Aussie mum is you. Our mums are our superheroes. We have been inspired by everything she is and everything she does for us. Our artworks in Across the Storm are dedicated to all our beautiful mothers. Mother, and my mom is an amazing driver. Oh, our mom is a hero. T is a brilliant chef. H helps me with homework. E excellent at reading. R really great at cleaning. Mother, M makes me happy. O often gets rewards at work. T takes me to school. H helps me make my bed. E excellent at cooking. R really good at reading. And my, my mom is the most marvelous mom in the universe. Oh, once, once you love me, my, my world gets brighter. The, the tea, the way you kiss me makes my heart be filled with lots of love. Hey, hero. You, you are my hero because you help me when I fall and hurt myself. D, uh, uh, early in the morning, you wake me up with a good morning. Uh, remember the time we made, a, we made dough together and we laughed and laughed. Mother. My mom is the best cook and she makes marvelous at and she is marvelous at making pasta. Oh, only you can make me laugh. Gee, the way you hug me makes me happy. Hey, hugs make me happy because you hug me tight. E, eating is the best because you make food with love. Ah, oh, remember when you went to... Wet and wild, and we screamed going down the big slide. Mother, my superhero, oh, oh, to miss it. She, the best mom, hates helpful, e exciting, uh, rock. You are strong like that. And my mom is her lovely self. O, one time always. T, the best mom ever. H, hero. Excellent. Ah, that is so beautiful. She, she shines bright. So thank you, boys and girls, for those wonderful performances. Um, and thank you to the teachers who spent time preparing the students for their little performances for today's Mother's Day celebration. I do want to say again, and I can confidently say that I think every student in this school and every teacher in this school and everyone just can't wait to get back to a true live performance, getting up on a stage and entertaining parents and even just liturgies, masses, celebrations to have us all, all back together. Um, so let's bring ourselves now back to the presence of God or in the presence of God for our prayers of our faithful.
God is always faithful, always loving and always listening to us. Let us bring our needs before God, confident in his help. Faithful God, Mother, show us what selfless love is. Help us to put the needs of others before our own needs. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, what is our mutual? May we learn to be mutual to one another and grow to become the best people we can become. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, mothers protect those in their care. Help us to protect those who are weak and vulnerable in our school, our community, and beyond. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, mothers of people who give, may we learn to be givers and not takers, generous with our time and talents for the good of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our us. prayer. Faithful God, mothers are a gift from you. We pray for those whose mother, mothers have died, that they experience your motherly love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Faithful God, Hear the heartfelt prayers we pray and those unspoken in our hearts. Amen. Almighty God, today we are grateful. Grateful for your goodness in creating mothers. You gave them eyes to watch over us and ears to listen to our joys and struggles, our laughter and tears. You gave them legs to run to us when we fall, and arms to pick us up again, to hold us as we cry, or cradle us while we sleep. You gave them hands to wipe away the tears, to brush the hair from our eyes and dirt from our faces, to hold when we're scared or when we want to dance or when we just need a little help. You gave them mouths to kiss away the pain and voices to encourage and comfort, to pray with us and for us. You gave them minds full of ideas and wisdom and hearts full of love. God, on this Mother's Day, bless our mothers. Give them your strength peace and love so they may continue to give it away to all those around them. Amen. Loving Lord, mothers and mother figures give life and nourishment to their children. Bless these women today, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So thank you, boys and girls. Thank you to everyone um, watching our little and joining us for our little liturgy this morning for Mother's Day. We just do want to apologise for the few little complications we've had along the way. Um, but like I said before, sometimes these things happen, but like I said before, we just want to come back to a um, normal. I'm looking at some teachers that are in here. We're, we're, we really are looking forward to no more Zooms 
and being live and seeing our parents. And I, I think boys and girls, if you're in classrooms now, you'd be able to put your hand up who would love to see your mums and dads in our schools again and watching our performances. Put your hands up here, yes? Yeah, for sure. So boys and girls, remember this weekend, every day should be Mother's Day for mothers and mother and carers, every single day. But remember, this weekend is extra special. So do whatever you can to make your mum or your carers and even your grandmothers to feel extra loved and cared for this weekend. Thank you and enjoy your day.